Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Once again, apologies for the backdrop, it's looking a bit plain and boring at the moment. Uh, so you've got me or you've got the beer review. Either way, I'm going to be in there somewhere, either looking at me, listening to me, whatever. So hopefully the beer is going to be be the focus of you all, because that's what it should be, it's a beer review. Uh, so, right, what are we on about, what are we on about? Right, like I say, another beer review. It's a beer that my wife got me for Christmas. Uh, it's part of the box uh, she got from Wold Top. I think it was actually Amazon, but you know what I mean. Uh, and they're based in Driftfield, I think it is. And I'm pretty certain that's in Yorkshire. But judging by the postcode, YO25. So I'm gonna guess something like that. Uh, and what we've got is a bottle of their Shepherd's Watch. It's a rich dark ale, as it says on the bottle. It's coming in at 6% in a 500ml bottle. And I don't know how much it was, probably about £2, £2.50, if you just buy it from a supermarket around there or from them. Uh, if she's bought this off Amazon, which I'm certain she has, she's probably paid way over the odds, but it was a Christmas present, doesn't matter. So, she didn't get me a glass for this one, so I'm gonna use the Ilkley Brewery glass that she got me with the Ilkley Brewery box. So uh, it's been in the fridge. It, the fridge is probably too cold. This is probably too cold, really. This probably, I mean, I'm gonna guess at about, this is probably five to six degrees, five degrees, I'm gonna guess. I always say that because it's been in my fridge, but I'm gonna guess something like that. It's been out for half hour, but it should probably be a good eight, eight, nine degrees. So uh, let's get it cracked open. Let, there we go, that's just, just quickly. There's the standard sort of label they have. It just changes with the beers. And there's the wall top crown. So let's rip it open and get stuck in. Lovely bit of smoke coming from there. I don't know why I'm showing you because you can't see. I can hardly see it, my bloody self. So I do like a dark ale. Hopefully, it is going to be rich and it is going to be, you know, have them dark flavours. Traditional sort of brewery, but I'm partial to a traditional beer. So, beer in a glass. I mean, you look at it on the screen, it looks jet black with a, a slightly tan head. You could look at that and go, that's a stout. Uh, but if you hold it up against some light, you get that sort of chestnut, deep chestnut, mahogany kind of look about it. No chance of seeing any bubbles go up there. No chance of seeing any bubbles. But it looks decent, doesn't it? It looks a very nice beer indeed. So a little bit left in the bottle. We'll give it a swirl and have a sniffers and see what we get. Look at that beautiful head on it, beautiful head. There's hints, but it's very muted and probably, I'm gonna guess probably because it is too cold. There's, I'm, I'm really not picking a lot up. For me, what I am getting is, is a, a subtle sort of chocolate note for me. Subtle chocolate note. A little bit of sort of hedgerow, dark fruit sort of thing, which would be coming from the hops. I mean, and, and maybe a, a roasted malt feel in there. But that is about it. I mean, it's probably exactly what you'd get with it being warmer but it, it's it's muted down because it's so cold, I'm gonna say. So uh, let's stop talking rubbish. Well, hopefully, useful information. But uh, <laughs> let's crack on with it. Shepherd's Watch, Rich Dark Ale, Wold Top Brewery, 6%. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, missus. Yeah, I can definitely tell just by the flavours in this beer. They're pretty much what I expected, the flavours. But warmer, four, five, six degrees warmer, this would feel like a different beer. The body is, is superb. Six percent. And that's got some weight to it. That really has got some weight to it. Not too heavy that 
I'm not gonna say it's gonna weigh you down kind of heavy. It would over after, you know, if you had three or four of these, it's gonna weigh you down, no doubt about it. But it's weighty without sort of weighing you down, certainly after the first little bit anyway. Hmm. Really is, that's, that's got a stunning body. It's almost chewy. It really is almost chewy. Extremely smooth, uh, lovely and soft in the mouth. And low on carbonation. Yeah, on the nose, filled, felt a bit muted. Drink wise, as in the drinking experience, it's superb, absolutely superb. Like I say, the body and the smoothness and the carbonation are fantastic. Definitely chocolate taste in there. I'm going to say warmer. You would pick up more. You'd get more of a roasted feel, I would say. You definitely get chocolate in there. There's a, there's a chocolate feel which is probably the biggest flavor I'm gonna say is in there. And as you swallow, the bigger the gulp you have, I'm gonna say, as your palate gets adjusted, you get the flavors from the hops. So sort of like that dark, dark fruit, that hedgerow fruit almost kind of thing. You don't get any sort of feel of of taste of hops or anything in this, but you certainly get, if that makes any sense, you, you certainly get the fruity feel of the hops, uh, which is nice. I think it would feel, a bit more richer, uh, being a bit warmer. I think you would pick up the, the malts a bit more in this. It's very drinkable. And it is very drinkable. I, I tell you what, this is definitely one of them. Sh Cat, will you shut up? I mean, this is definitely one of them you would sit in a pub. A nice big roaring fire going on. Bear with me. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to say what. I wouldn't do anything to that cat. I honestly wouldn't. But she drives me up the bloody wall sometimes. Uh, but where were we? Yeah, we were sitting in the pub. A lovely big log fire going... I can imagine having this on a cold evening, sitting in a, a lovely warm cosy pub up in Yorkshire, having this on, on tap, sitting down with a nice steak and a steak and ale pie, M peas, I was going to say mushy peas, you don't want mushy peas with pie, do you? Peas, mash, steak and ale pie, gravy. A few pints of this, and I'm telling you, that would be heaven. That would be heaven. This is an extremely decent real ale. 6%, quite honestly, is nowhere. The, the, if, if there's any place where this 6% is, it's in the body of the beer. Taste-wise, no, it just feels like a dark ale. Beautiful drink, goes down a treat. And a big thumbs up from me. So, uh, Waltop Shepherd's Watch and their rich dark ale. If you're into your traditional stuff, get some of this down here. Uh, despite it just coming out of the fridge half hour ago, if that, that's an excellent beer. Still got lots of flavour. I think it would improve. If you had this on cask or something, that would be, I can only imagine that would be absolutely outstanding. I just wish I had a steak and ale pie, peas and mash now to eat it with. There you go. Give it a go. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. No doubt. I'm going to see you on another one. Cheers.